Hi Capricorn, this is a general love reading for mid-March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs, and do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. So this new setup um, with the camera, it is temporary. I probably will um, take it back to how it was. But do let me know if you like this better. I think that the other setup gives you a better view of the of the cards, but do let me know. All right, let's see what is going on in Capricorn. Second half of March. All right, we have healing and we have solitude. I feel like this is your energy, actually. Um, of course, feel free to reverse the roles, but I feel like this is you um, really going inwards, basically, um, possibly being alone at the moment and being okay with being alone because you know that you are healing, all right? Healing yourself, possibly from a connection, possibly in general. So let's get into it and see what this is about. to the end of March 2021. All right, so for your situation, we have the Six of Pentacles crossed by the Magician. Okay, give me a sec. Let me just see the recent past and the near future here we have the hanged man for the recent past and we have the five of cups for the near future okay so i feel like there is a, somebody here is trying to bring something into balance but they're having a hard time manifesting that i feel like this might be your person rather than you because i really do feel very strongly that you are the one healing here you're feeling a lot of um this healing energy or what you are learning and how you are growing by being with your own self at the moment. Um, I, do, I do feel that you could possibly be manifesting this balance within yourself, but I'm also feeling that for the other person possibly, they're having a hard time kind of reaching that, that level that you are at. Um, we'll see though, we'll see. All right, we have the hanged man for the recent past. So the, it feels like there was some kind of a stagnation period here. Um, I don't think that it was um, useless. I feel like there may have been in the recent past a time where you, maybe there was this a little bit of a detachment or just taking a step back. And I feel like this might be what had what led you to um, really wanting to go within. All right, I do see some some sadness in the near future, but we'll see if this is you or your person. We'll see. So for your energy, we have the Ace of Pentacles. For them, we have the King of Cups. For you, we have the Ten of Pentacles. For them, we have the Five of Wands. And the potential outcome here, we have the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so there's a lot of um, Pentacles here, which is, which is in your element. And I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing this as being negative, even if we do have the Five of um, Cups here. All right, you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like you're really focused on starting starting something new for your own self. I feel like you are feeling like you are grounding yourself um, and just feeling very... Um, I want to say secure, secure with your with your own life in the way that you are manifesting things. Um, it could be that you are manifesting a new beginning here for yourself. Um, you you do want a commitment, but I feel like for the time being, you're growing by being kind of um, in solitude, in this solitude, basically. Your person here, they have the King of Cups and they also have the Five of Wands. So I do feel like this this um, 
five of cups the sadness that is coming up i feel like it's mostly for them um, that there's a sense of of regret possibly for how for how things seem to be at the moment um, because i do feel like you like you're the one who has pulled away here they do hold a lot of love for you here all right with the king of cups so they do hold a lot of love for you but there's something here that is conflicting them i don't know if it's involving other people yet we'll see when we clarify but then we for the potential outcome we have the queen of pentacles so i see you again just really standing strong within your own um within your own sense of of self really taking care of your taking care of yourself and just feeling really good actually about yourself so let's see let me clarify this Six of Pentacles with a Magician. All right, we have the Sun, the Nine of Wands, the Six of Swords, we've got four, and Death. <clears throat> All right, so definitely some kind of an ending here or some kind of a, a huge transition is what it feels like. I feel like whatever this transition is, it's leading you to something um, that's going to be more fulfilling, that's going to be just more in alignment with who you are, and it's going to be something that's more peaceful because I feel like there has been um, a lot of struggle with this, with this situation, whatever it is. And I'm not saying that it means that it's necessarily done and over for good, although for some of you that of course that could be the case for some of you it's just i'm not saying that it's necessarily that okay but I, for the time being it does feel like there is some kind of a separation for now at least and i do feel like this is actually leading you towards finding that balance and manifesting that balance within yourself i feel like it's more of in the past this person was not able to do that it could be that you were offering them more than they were able to offer you like there was an uneven um exchange of energies and it's like no matter how hard this person tried i i feel like they just couldn't they just weren't able to give to you what you what you were able to give to them there could have been other things involved as well um that may have happened here Maybe this is just something temporary, I don't know, but it feels like this is what is in the energy right now. So let's see the Hanged Man for the recent past. Alright, we have the Ace of Swords and the Page of Cups. I feel like there was um, possibly some kind of, either some kind of a communication between the two of you where some emotions were expressed and it was through this, there, it was through this that there was this realization that, you know, um, some alone time might actually serve a higher purpose or be in your in your highest interest um, for now. That's I, I feel like that's for some of you. For others of you, I feel like this is um, holding uh, holding back. As I said before, kind of like holding back from what you truly feel. So I feel like there was this conversation that either took place or didn't take place, but it was it was like the energy of that conversation was there, and then some of you actually went ahead and had it and then for others of you for some reason it just didn't work out and because that conversation never happened again that would be the reason why you you pulled away and um decided to just you know focus on yourself so it, it almost feels like you know it doesn't really even really matter whether the conversation happened or didn't happen i feel like truth came out from from that situation regardless like the mere fact that okay well you know they didn't show up for the conversation well that speaks for itself for example so let's see the ace of pentacles for your energy all 
All right, we have the Four of Pentacles and we have the Eight of Swords. All right, interesting. So it feels like, yeah, so you're moving ahead. You're, you're having this um, feeling for something new, to try something new, to move in a new direction. It doesn't necessarily mean another person. It could just be a new way of being, which is, you know, being alone. But I feel like you're doing that in a very hesitant type of a way. Like there's a little bit of... Um, Fear attached to that in the sense of, can I really let this go? Can I really be okay? Like just having a lot of thoughts. You're like consumed by your thoughts about all the what ifs if you were to um, completely release this. So you you are healing, but you're also having some hesitations, which, you know, I mean, that's, that's normal. That's normal. Whenever there is an ending or a shift or a change, um, it's normal to have some hesitations. Just become aware at least, of the fact that that you might be holding on to some thinking patterns that might be, you know, causing this to be a little more difficult or a little more uncomfortable than what it needs to be, okay? Because I see here that whatever the case, you know, you're moving in the right direction. Let me see the Ten of Pentacles. The Magician again, the Hermit, and the High Priestess. All right, wow, three major arcana here clarifying your energy. Um, again, see, you're following your intuition, and I feel like sometimes, you know, maybe you're just, you have these hesitations, you know, is my intuition, you know, really telling me the truth here? Is that really my intuition, or is that is that fear? Um, you're, what you're doing, I, what I'm seeing here is that, no, it is your intuition. Your intuition is guiding you. You're moving in that direction, and that is what is ultimately going to bring you stability, commitment, and not only that, but to have an even exchange of energies here. All right, because it feels like that was a part of the, part of the issue here, for some of you at least. All right, you're manifesting that by actually being like this hermit and going within, right? That's like the solitude card that came out in the very beginning. So this is just confirming to me that, yeah, that is you. That is your energy here. Let me see their energy. So let's see the King of Cups. We have the Page of Wands and the Six of Wands. These were too many, so I'm not going to take them. But I do want to get one more. All right, two more. So, clarifying the King of Cups, we have the Page of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so as I said, this person does feel a lot of love for you. They feel like you could possibly fulfill them um, 100 percent. They can sense that you are detaching. Um, they feel that. They feel that from you and I feel like that's actually um, it's actually giving them this drive, this motivation. If they didn't have it before, I feel like it's coming through now. Having a motivation to go after what they want and to to get that Ten of Cups. Um, I'm not sure if they're actively doing it at the moment. I don't feel like they are because they have this... Um, the, the Five of Wands here. They're, they're feeling some conflict. But they're definitely feeling that drive and that motivation to, to want to somehow get you back. And we just had the Knight of Cups pop out as well, which is all about wanting to come forward. So let's see the Five of Wands. Let's see what is this conflict. All right, the Ace of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they're not sure if you're going to be willing to 
either to compromise with them or to allow them to compromise or to work together to collaborate i feel like again i mean with the ace of cups showing up here they're, they're they're feeling a lot of love all right like that's not even um in question here but they're very conflicted about whether you you guys can come to an agreement and i feel like a big part of it is that they feel how much you have moved away and how much you are trying to detach and stay in this solitude type of an energy. Let's see the five of cups in the recent in the near future. Seven of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the King of Wands. Yeah, so I feel like actually what's happening here in the in the very near future is that this person is feeling um, very sad, very regretful of the past, but they're also, I get a sense of them feeling sorry for themselves to the point where, you know, that, that um, discourages them from taking action here. And so it's like they're waiting, they're waiting to take that action. They're waiting to do something. They're not feeling confident at all. I feel like, you know, they're seeing you as this queen of pentacles. You're doing your own thing. You've moved away um, from the connection in some way. And even though, you know, they have this desire to, and this drive to achieve a reconciliation with you, to have this 10 of cups with you, they're doubting their own self. They're doubting their own self and just really feel very strongly that you're not going to be willing to, to participate in this at all. Um, and so that's why they're just kind of waiting here. Kind of like deceiving their own selves by not coming forward because that's not really um, their truth. It's not what they want. So it's kind of like they're... It gives me the sense of like being pouty being pouty and just um, feeling sorry for themselves rather than gaining up that courage to come forward, which maybe you don't even want them to. I don't know. I do, I do kind of get a sense that you, that you would, even if it's just for closure or even if it's just to um, resolve something from the past, even if you don't um, get back together. But I do see them wanting this more than you. So let's see the Queen of Pentacles for the potential outcome. The Chariot and the Five of Wands. I do want to get one more. Because I feel like that Five of Wands showing up again, that's your, that's your pretty and the Empress. Okay, so this is your, I do see this person coming forward at some point, all right? The potential outcome here is this person taking some action towards you, but when they do come towards you, there's, I feel like they're going to be conflicted and they're going to seem all over the place, but that's because of their, their low self-confidence in comparison to you. That's how it's coming through here. Because um, you're going to be like just so... I feel just really seeming very confident because you're in your element here. You're also showing up as the Empress. It's like you, you're you really healing from this. So when this person shows up, they're going to still seem conflicted and it's going to be because they are just carrying this, this fear with them, this low um, self-confidence as to whether you would want them. But it, it feels like they're still taking that risk and um, somehow coming at it or going for it regardless of that which is a bit admirable but then again you know i don't know what has happened in the past you would know and whether this is something that is worth um giving um another chance to okay always follow your own intuition and at the moment it feels like you are following your intuition and right now it is it is serving you. It is leading you to that healing and to really embodying the Empress within you. Alright. So let's see. If this 
resonated? What is the final message for Capricorn? And please do give me a like if it did resonate for you. And let's see, we have treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. All right, so take this message as it resonates for you. Um, the way I'm seeing this is, you know, maybe sometimes things don't work out, all right, with certain people. And maybe it will work out, maybe it won't work out with this person in the long run. All right, but you can still, if you feel like this was an important connection to you, you can still treasure the connection for what it was or for what it is. All right, this is basically about, you know, allowing that healing to take place and not holding on um, to resentment and also about treasuring your own self and what it is that you, that you deserve. All right, Capricorn, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.